Uh, all right, we were talking about Oprah and her little get-together. I don't know. She had some kind of special, uh, and she was talking about people's whiteness and the white privilege. Yeah. And it's uh, it's about time. <laughs> it is, it's about it? time. It is. Uh, here's what Oprah had to say. This is but great I was stuff. I going to say, and then I'll let you answer it. White uh, people, there are white people who are not as powerful as the system of white people, the caste system that's been put in place. System. But yeah, they that's still, a big book she's promoting. Now, no too. matter where they are uh, on the rung no or matter. the ladder of success, they sure. still have their whiteness. They still, Thank they you. still have their whiteness. Man, Thank so no you. matter what. You can be Thank poor as you. dirt, doesn't matter, you're still white. So things are better for you. I mean, you know what? Screw you. I'm, I'm, I'm calling BS on this pile of stinking garbage. I'm sick of it. During this racist BS session, she actually got a couple of loser white people to admit their racism. Of course. Uh, of course you can't. Wait, those, those are the, the meetings that they have uh, mm. the, are the forced gatherings at city municipalities and businesses you can't walk out of there unless you admit that you're a racist right right you and can't so she says uh whites have a leg up you still have your whiteness uh that's what the term white privilege is it means that whiteness still gives you an advantage no matter what it is the fundamental issue so then during the discussion oprah talked to her white guests who talked about their own personal come to Jesus moments in admitting that they too might just be racist. Yeah. One man, Seth, told Oprah, uh, yeah, he must be a racist because he's never been actively anti racist. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? Uh, so then it, Oprah says, well, you've become woke during this period and realized in that awakening that you are racist, right? I just want to know how that happened. Uh, well, what happened, Oprah, was is that, you know, black people like you started telling me that I'm a racist. And, you know, you're lumping a whole race into that category uh, based on their skin color and I just bought into it uh, because I can't think for myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what happened, Oprah. I'm too much of a miserable coward to sit here and defend myself. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. I never realized it's despicable. that I was a racist mm -hmm. until you told me that, uh, that I'm racist. That I'm racist. And I need to be anti-racist to be not racist. Yeah. Uh, stop it, white people! Stop this madness! I mean, her, stop it! She's getting this. One of the things with her Oprah book club uh, this week uh, or this month, uh, she promoted the uh, the book Cast, which is why she keeps using Cast. The book, The Origins mm -hmm. of Our Discontents, um, mm -hmm. unspoken caste system that has shaped America and shows how our lives today are still defined. By a hierarchy of human division. How fascinating that is. Coming from a stinking billionaire black woman. Two and a half billion. A woman way. and a black woman, and she's worth two and a half billion dollars. Born in a small town in Mississippi. How did you get out of that caste system? How'd that happen? We Well, we let one slip through the cracks, I guess. <laughs> right, we're so Damn racist. It. We Damn can't it. catch them all. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> we, we, I mean, we throw that tuna net out there, and we catch as many as we can. We do. Dang it. And, and occasionally we catch a few dolphins, you know, in white people. Sometimes we accidentally catch yeah. a few white people and keep them out of the top rung of the caste system. But uh, And then every once in a while, you know, one of the, pe one of the uh, people we don't want to be with us uh, will slip through and uh, even sometimes exceed anything we can possibly dream Thankfully, of. Thankfully, you've realized that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you've, now that now I'm, that I'm woke, you've now, succeeded. Now I'm woke. Now that you've succeeded and mm -hmm. you've looked back at that caste system and realized, just, oh, you know what? This is despicable stuff. It really is. What is this but the same racism, the exact same racism they're fighting against? It's now just being directed at us. It's right. not right, and it's not okay. And if we don't stand up to it, we're going to be dang sorry very, very soon. Really sorry. Uh, it, this It's unacceptable. Fortunately, there have been uh, some blacks who have stood up and said the same thing. They, 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 that's madness. And they've told Oprah 
uh, that it's it's disgusting what she's saying. I mean, it's a pack sure of is. garbage is what it is. And it's amazing that she's willing to... I know. I, I, I don't know what happened. Wow. I don't know what happened because for so long, at least I thought for so long, that she was part of this group that at least was trying to <clears throat> uplift. Yeah, everybody. Right? Everyone. Right. Yes. Right. So everyone has an opportunity. Uh, that doesn't nope. seem to be the message now. Nope. No, she's got a whole different direction now. They'll be at your gates too. Oh, so oh, you know, I don't know why you you're trying. You know. Yeah. Oh, when the when, oh. when the Antifa crowd comes, they're not going to skip over her. Oh, that's Oprah. Oh, yeah, okay. she's a billionaire. Billionaires are evil. We were ju- we've been told that a million times by the AOCs of the world. There shouldn't be billionaires. There shouldn't be them. And she is one. So. How do you justify that? How do you rectify that situation? I just, uh, this is, it's beyond anything I, 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 I don't think a year ago I would have believed that this is possible. I mean, look at what they're doing right now. Even people like Oprah Winfrey, the most successful monetarily probably, black woman certainly in the country, I would think. She's got to be one of, I don't know, top five at least. Yeah. Uh, she's got to be. And there's a cast uniformly system? loved, on. at least was yes, yeah, uniformly was. loved uh, around the country and the world. This either says that she's so confident that nobody's going to to uh, stand up to this, or she just doesn't care anymore because she's made hers. She's where she needs to be, and now she can really say how she feels. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, I don't but know it's either. it's despicable despicable and I, i'm not just gonna roll over and play dead for it it's just it's, it's, we gotta stand up to it otherwise we're gonna be very very sorry down the line 